to really be heard, we need them to be a part of their local community board. Our guest has been Bronx Borough President Vanessa Gibson. Ms. Gibson, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Deadline Friday, March 1st. New York City officials are touting the future of outdoor dining. WNYC's Ramsey Khalifa gets a look at new designs that soon will appear on streets around the five boroughs. Outdoor dining was a rare shared experience with fellow New Yorkers during the pandemic. The sheds were also a lifeline for restaurants struggling to stay afloat. But after four years, many of the dining sheds in city streets became dilapidated and infested with rats. Now, the city says it has a solution. On Tuesday, Department of Transportation officials showed off colorful modular sheds with removable panels. The structures follow new, permanent rules that will go into effect in November. That's when they must be dismantled for the winter. Andrew Riggi is the executive director of the New York City Hospitality Alliance. He says the new guidelines will make it easier for businesses to participate. There'll be less red tape and bureaucracy than there was for a sidewalk cafe before the pandemic. Thousands and thousands of restaurants and neighborhoods across the five boroughs who were never even allowed to have outdoor dining will now be able to have it. The Transportation Department estimates the new sheds will cost tens of thousands of dollars to build. Officials say the new designs use better materials that will last longer and be easier to fix. Jimmy Lozamo is the owner of a Peruvian restaurant, Warike, in Jackson Heights, Queens, with one of the new sheds. The way that they um, design is very help. It's, it's going to help a lot uh, to bring more customers, and uh, is more safe and uh, is easy to clean. Restaurants can begin applying for outdoor dining permits on March 5th. Business owners must pay a fee starting at $1,050 and figure out where to store the sheds during the winter. Ramzi Khalife, WNYC News. Support for WNYC comes from Mount Sinai. Using leading research and clinical trials, experts at the Mount Sinai Tisch Cancer Center deliver personalized treatments for patients. Learn more at mountsinai.org slash cancer care. We find a way. Mount Sinai. The Seven Year Disappear, starring Cynthia Nixon and Taylor Trench. This off-Broadway world premiere by Jordan C.V., directed by Scott Elliott, plays through March 31st. Tickets available at thenewgroup.org. It's like the promised flying cars that never seem to come. Marketplace Morning Report is supported by Twilio Segment. Segment brings customer data together for real-time insights so companies know each individual like they are their only customer. Learn more at Segment.com. And by Progressive Insurance. Progressive is looking for individuals who want to join an inclusive and unique culture. More information including application at Progressive.com slash careers. I'm David Brancaccio. The electric car from Apple, 10 years of investment yet. There are multiple published reports now that Apple has given up. Here's Marketplace's Nova Safo. Apple's ambitions to create its own autonomous electric vehicle, known internally as Project Titan, have been secretive to a degree. Rumors have swirled around Silicon Valley since the project began in 2014. The company has also been testing its autonomous driving technology on public roads, according to data from the California Department of Motor Vehicles. But the effort appears to be ending, and at least some of the employees working on the project reportedly will shift to developing artificial intelligence instead. In a call with analysts earlier this month, CEO Tim Cook promised more AI-related developments later this year. I'm Nova Safo for Marketplace. S&P futures are down three tenths percent now. Nasdaq futures down four tenths percent. Stock in United Health fell two and a quarter percent yesterday, and it's down another seven percent in pre-market trading at the moment. This after the Wall Street Journal reported the Justice Department has opened an antitrust investigation with a possible focus on United Health's Optum unit, which owns doctor practices. Marketplace Morning Report is supported by Indiana University's Kelly School of Business, developing tomorrow's business leaders through the nationally ranked Kelly Direct Online MBA. Learn more about the Kelly Direct Online MBA's 25-year legacy at iu.edu slash online MBA. And by Charles Schwab. Schwab believes every investor deserves to work with a firm they can count on, with financial consultants ready to serve clients and 24-7 live help. I've been... 